All right, YouTube, hey, Josh here at Attica Lumber Company. Check out this project right here. This is actually a 30 by 60 and a 50 by 30. You can see a lean-to in addition to a bank barn right there. Again, 30 by 60, then also a 50 by 30, 13 feet, 8 inches. Let's go inside here. I want to highlight kind of how we attach this to this older barn right here that I'm also going to share with you. As you're probably seeing right here, we actually use Green Guard Post. All right, and if you've been following this channel, this series, we utilize a number of different posts, columns, and so forth. You can see on this application right here, we actually utilize Green Guard or Green Post. Okay, and I'm actually just going to share with you. I'm going to put this down right here so you can read this. But Green Post wrap is a barrier around treated, untreated wood protecting the critical ground line area where decay occurs. Lifelong double layer barrier post protection for all types of wood. All right, so maybe. If you don't quite have the budget, maybe for concrete, you're concerned about post rot, you know, a green guard. You can see that's wrapped in like an asphalt protective barrier right there. And you can see actually it's a three ply. All right, so the manufacturer actually applies that right there. We don't install that. So the manufacturer puts that green guard or asphalt kind of coating on that three ply laminated column. Then obviously this is the state of Ohio here. So we set that, we go down 54 inches and we put that in the hole. All right, so that kind of gives you an idea. So let me back up just a little bit there. You can see one foot overhang. Again, you probably noticed there the trusses actually, the trusses are actually on two foot on center. Okay, so this is gonna be an open section right here. All right, again, 50 by 30, or 30 by 50, and uh, a 50, my goodness, I forgot what it was. But anyway, um, right there, we actually got drip stop metal right up there on the underneath, and you can see those trusses again. This section right here, this would be uh, actually 50. Yeah, 50 foot in width. You can see those two by six bottom, two by six top cord. You see the trusses there spaced two feet apart. All right, you see the top main header that we use. We actually utilize yellow pine two by 12 on this. You see how we ran that, but check this out, how we attach that. You can see the truss there. We attach it right there. And then also right up here, we actually ran two by 12s. So we put a double two by 12 top beam header up there and you can see what we did as far as running the two by fours so we connected the trusses there and we set it right there obviously we, we fastened up the h1 yeah those are h1 hurricane ties all right so you can see how we ran that up there and then over here in the corner you can see what we did actually we utilized a two by eight it looks like yeah two by eight treated right there on the corner and we ran that up to that two by 12. all right so there, here's an idea for you as far as if you're looking for an addition on a maybe an older bank barn or a barn that you may have here's maybe an idea for you there but this is actually going to be the open section here again green guard post on this to help with the, the post rot and so forth so quick little video here i thought i'd share that with you and uh, again all comments always welcome the next one, keep it locked, keep it loaded right here at Atticalumber and then atticalumber.com.